students of class 11 today we are going to discuss the example 4.9 in this a cricket ball is thrown at a speed of 28 meter per second in the direction 30 degree above the horizontal direction and then we have to calculate the maximum height that the ball will reach and the time taken by the ball to return to the same level after it is being thrown and thirdly the distance covered along the horizontal direction in this time so you know that in this case theta value of the uh, the angle of projection theta is 30 degree given and uh, therefore the vertical component the vertical component of the velocity of the of the cricket ball will be 28 sine 30 degree and that is the speed of the projectile at the time of projection and so the maximum height given maximum height covered by the projectile we we know is is given equal to v0 square sine square theta by 2g and on putting the value of v0 sine theta as 28 sine 30 degree uh, divided by 2 into 9.8 that becomes 10 meter so that is the maximum height the projectile which cover before it starts falling down now the time required the time of flight of the projectile is given by the relation t is equal to 2 v0 sin theta 0 by g where v0 sin theta is the vertical component of the projectile at the time of projection so you have the total time of flight equal to 2 into 28 into sin 30 degree whole divided by the value of g that is 9.8 and then that on simplifying we get 2.9 seconds so that means the projectile will go up and come back to the same height and will take 2.9 seconds in total now in this time duration the horizontal distance covered will be given by the relation we have already derived for horizontal range that is v square sin s sin 2 theta by g so here v square v0 is 28 meter per second as given so that means 28 into 28 into sin 2 into 30 degree that becomes sin 60 degree whole divided by g value that is 9.8 and that becomes 69 meters so that means the ball will reach horizontally a distance of cover a distance of 69 meters it will cover a distance of 69 meters and the maximum height reached will be we have calculated 10 meters and the time for which the projectile will remain in air is 2.9 seconds thank you and have a nice day